said residents are upset about a new monster home being built in that area. City's already issued the builder multiple violation notices and a stop work order, yet construction continues. KITV Force Diana Cole today talked with frustrated neighbors. It's an empty lot now, but city records show the plans are to build a 7,300 square foot house and accessory dwelling unit here. It looks like it's going to be pretty bad. Uh, from what I understand, there's going to be two structures on there. It's going to be high. It's going to obstruct the view. How is this home going to ruin your neighborhood? It already has, and it's not even built yet. Michelle Matson is on the neighborhood board and watching the progress closely. The board hasn't taken an official position on the house yet, but Matson ticks off a list of problems she's noticed. It's torn out the trees. It's uh, created these massive walls that are illegal. According to city ordinance, this wall is supposed to be six feet tall, but as you can see, it is twice that. The city issued violation notices to various contractors and the homeowner on this project in 2016 and 2018 for cutting trees without a permit and in 2018 for starting work on a swimming pool without a permit. The city says all permits were approved several months later. This year, the city issued violations to HH construction that have not been fixed. One for building a retaining wall without a permit. The other for exceeding the scope of a grading permit. There is a stop work order in effect for that. The contractor has until April 15th to correct it. The state once revoked the builder's license for a lapsed workers' comp policy and reinstated it when HH Construction got the insurance. HH Construction has not returned our calls. Matson says we need stronger laws. Developers, contractors, offshore people have found ways to get through all of this because the laws are so weak. This is just one of many large homes being built around Oahu. High Good Neighbor is a watchdog group that tracks and fights them. The fact that we have uh, several notices of violations here is a reflection uh, that, you know, they are starting to take these seriously. We need some more action island-wide. The City Council Zoning Committee today passed a bill that would more strictly regulate monster homes. That bill goes to the full council April 17th. The Gale Street home will be on the neighborhood board's agenda on May 1st, the first time they'll be talking about it, but probably not the last. In Diamond Head, Diana Coke, KITV4 Island News.